Hello, this is Nithos Arrows. Please let me know if you can hear me in the chat.
first things first for this, uh, Rapid Raiders. I'm gonna play as if the stream is healthy and uh
AJ, uh, forgive me if I mispronounced that, uh, Pacino. How are we doing today, everyone? Uh, just so you know, this is my first time with the mic. Uh, all the other typical microphones have failed or written. Uh, I will just go with random systems. I'm just going to keep clicking random until something happens. Um.
There it goes. Back in there. Uh, I fancy myself a laser person. I don't like lasers. Uh, I'm gonna go with the map buildings. Just cause. Greetings, Overseer. I am Veer, a prototype synthetic intelligence developed by the finest minds of our civilization to serve as your advisor. I shall endeavor to perform my duties with the utmost efficiency. I'm going to go with tips. Very well. I will provide tips, explaining only basic functions and tools as you explore them. This is our homeworld and the capital of our empire. The planet summary screen, which we are currently looking at, provides an overview of the planet's imp The government screen presents us with information regarding our empire and its government. Here we can see our ruler and any related effects. Nice. Thank you. The demographics tab tracks the makeup and spread of our empire's populace. The Budget tab tallies our Empire's monthly income and expenses in energy credits. Here we can also track a variety of effects. That was pretty self-explanatory. The Technology screen is where we will be directing our research efforts. Technologies are categorized into three different fields, with each field typically having three available research options. This is our science ship. This is our construction ship, which is used to construct space stations. Where an astronomical object, such as a planet, has been surveyed, we can order this ship to build a research station or a mining station to exploit any resources it may have.
Military fleets are used to protect our emerging empire from threats or to expand our glorious rule through force of arms, if we so wish. We have found an anomaly. From time to time, our science ships will discover strange anomaly found. The spaceport tab is where we view orbiting fleets, build new ships, and upgrade the station itself. This is where we manage all ground forces on this planet. The upper portion of this view is divided into three sections. The top section represents the orbital space above the planet, the middle section is the atmosphere, and the bottom section is the surface. Construction complete. Here we see a visual representation of this planet's surface, divided into tiles. This tab is only visible on colonies and surveyed worlds that are habitable. Each pop occupies a single tile, which means that there can never be more pops on a planet than there are free tiles. complete. Situation log updated.
pictures. I need to replace the mouse. So. The tradition screen displays the tradition trees available to our empire. A tradition tree must first be adopted before any traditions within it can be unlocked. still hear me. Oh hey, it's better. Um, no recording. Again, why are you trying to reconnect and We want <laughs> the 
we want hello everyone who's watching can you uh, please let me know if you can hear the mic Uh, let's see. We're going to stick with a relatively small group. Uh, slavery is not allowed. We will not allow it. Oh, uh, that's big demand there. But let's see, where are you at? That will change soon, and you're so going there. Okay, discovery deployment. Uh, prosperity. Harmony. I will hover over these individually in a moment. We want discovery. Yes. Yes. Let's keep that. Uh, construction. Ah, oh, that's too small for me. But that's a double standard right there, though. Ooh. Anomaly? Hello everyone! Thank you for joining in. Um, <laughs> I do not know what I can do for you today. But we are the Valdari. So, we have exactly one planet. We're only allowed ten for right now. We're gonna go with that one. We'll attempt. We will change this to assist. So we kind of need faster research. We need someone with three or higher. And right as I say something, it starts buffering. Lovely. Uh, let's see what construction's done.
I think this is our month. Yep, that's our monthly gain. So we have to wait two in-game months. I'm gonna be lazy. Make it fast. Okay, we're now playing this at fast setting, meaning we're gonna be broke in a minute. Everyone ready? Cause I'm not. Alrighty, we are gonna put it here. Yeah, we need someone who's a level three or higher. You're a two. You're also a two. System. I mean, if there's a ha no, go back. If there is a habitable planet. Ooh, nice. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and get that done. So that way we have something big to defend and be offensive with. Because I'm not going to have a swarm of Corvettes that can, I don't know, not survive. I don't know. gonna research it. I want that one. Um, I need something with high resource. High resource. Ruin network. Da, da, da. Dating back at least three millennia can be found in low orbit of this gas giant. Their original function appears to have been gas mining, but they have since been abandoned and reoccupied by many different races and pirate groups. Oh, the colonies have been thoroughly stripped of anything even remotely valuable, but the mere fact that they are still aloft after all this time makes them an interesting subject for engineering. Yes, we shall convince our research treacheries. That's so cute! It's a fox. Research in there. So I want to go at least to there. Science. 
that'll come in handy later. Um, we'll do that one. Come on, one more month. Let's do this one. Uh, I thought I already did blue laser, but uh, okay, we will do blue. Um, I will be right back, everyone. The game will still be running, um, but it's going to be at a slower rate. Thank you all for watching. I will be right back in about one minute. Alright, I'm back. After studying the wreckage of two Cybrix war platforms over Raltry something, Science Officer Shafab has concluded that they were most likely destroyed while fighting each other. And it fits the damage patterns found on the racks. Remains a mystery, however, after they were immobilized, post war frames. Nice. Well, then, we are. Research. Research. We're gonna go fast. And this guy's gonna go all the way up here. Twenty one, that's an ideal. Okay. We're going to go for some of that energy. And after that, we're going to just plop a whole bunch down in this one. So next one is that. Everyone, I do apologize if we are having some issues. One constant viewer. Thank you for watching. I hope everything you're enjoying the game. Um. Oh, 
I forgot to mention, I've only played this once. Briefly. As in, I've read the manual. Um. <laughs> yeah, it's embarrassing, but I've read the manual. Um. That's about it. <laughs> um. Oh my. Um That's actually not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. idea what to talk about. It's in progress. It wouldn't let me click retreat. Well then. That answers my question. Let's go ahead and do that. I don't even want to look at that result. So we have We'll get what we can from there. Oh no, he doesn't have anything. That would be helpful, right there, science-wise, or physics. Precursors, broken.
we'll save on those resources. After almost giving up on hope, studying the accursed ceramic object for so long, we have reached a breakthrough. The object isn't really there, but rather it is a projection from a higher dimension. Analyzing it is a shadow of a fourth dimension object. We have accumulated enough data to decrypt its message. The object teaches how to improve in all fields of research. The only question now is, who sent this? Eureka! Yikes, I only have 10 resources left. Hee -hee. I guess that's the cost of uh, <laughs> running everything. So, we are going to go here. Yeah, we need a fleet of at least a thousand to, uh, well, with the, whatever the value is of at least a thousand. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I can't do much more, but I can't do something. Paused. Why is it paused? Oh, yeah. We have encountered some form of alien vessels in the Gosak system. These strange objects have been flagged as beta aliens. Until we can learn more about them, we should proceed with caution. Okay, not even getting close to them.
No. No, 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 no. Not even a scratch. On them. But on me. Bye bye. Go with that. Lovely. Yeah, that's going to hurt financially. Oi. No. That will help. That is nice. Thoroughly strip mined by the machines, and a few scattered ruins are all that remained. Alrighty, going to build two more. So we finally found some bad things. But I'm more interested in this. I'm not even going to look at that. Scorch mod module is all that is left of a cyberx research station, and that once orbited hundreds of thousands of genetic that inside the module is filled with dead remains of creatures that are part machine and part organic. Intriguing.
We'll just make this even faster. Uh, these individuals will suffer. Thank you. Next time I'll be a little ready. Yes, I am making more ships that I can not handle. All right, everyone, it is 1035. We are going to shut this down soon as we finish our research cycle. No, I couldn't afford that. All right. Uh, so essentially, when we finish our fusion power research, uh, that will be the last little bit will be playing.
corrections when that's done. That will make life so much easier right there. That will also make things easier. Uh, let's actually just do that one. definitely want that one. It's 21. We'll research that. That's just a 5% risk. So I'm gradually expanding. I want to get this clutter up here, specifically that and that. I want to get the pulsar. There we go. Research. Oh well. We're going to be expanding in a moment, and hopefully soon we will be expanding elsewhere, because I am ready to get out of this little rock destroyer. We're going to design our own. We are going to put a gunship. Interceptor. Well, considering we only have lasers.
that'll be helpful. there, put you there, and build a farm. It will do you some good, my friend. The governor has new skills. Nice. Resilient. Oh, 25% boosted gain. That's nice. So we're going to go ahead and save. We are Valdari alignment. We'll save this to cloud as well. So we are going to go crazy in here mainly because that right there will help us yes yes awesome So we're going to try to uh, We have a cruiser, we have a destroyer. We have six corvettes, seven corvettes. Oh no. Solution. Research.
I will. We are going to put that there. Our leader has died. I'm so sorry. I feel like they all merged into one fleet. They did. Okay. It's not going to hurt to upgrade them all anyway. We are a colony ship. We are going here. shall recruit Surface. Well, we have a violent wildlife and a very unhospitable world. We have another un. So I think our best bet is here. This is our best bet. That's 25 tiles. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 tiles we can use right away. As much as I want to have a faction in my favor, I do not. I repeat, I do. 
do not need. I do not want a slave pro-slavery faction just based off of what I want. Because that just hurts later. Like a lot. To... I'm not even going to bother reading for you guys right now. Um, I'm going to fix my little going to start doing this. I understand. Values dropping. We want that one. That one, yes. Um, I can probably take that on and have a chance to s escape. No. Yeah, no, we wouldn't even survive a small battle. Excellent.
These are spiritualists. Oh, yay. We are so screwed. Yes, it does. Upgrade the ship. Upgrade. Ship. Thank you. Well, well, yeah, they're obviously going to have more. Trade deal, information, star charts. Start. You guys are wooed. Not gonna. Oh no. picking them at this point. Construction. We'll do it here. I don't know what's going to happen if I do this. That will help us some. <sighs> Alrighty. I did say I would shut down in a little bit. So, let's uh, get this set to fastest. Get the colony started. Alright, we are starting to make them happier. Yay, we did it! Of course, it will obviously take time. I didn't read that, did I? Nope, okay. Zoom!
so. Alright everyone, we are going to uh, something 3 is exceptionally rich in minerals, minerals that are unfortunately of no use to us. However, Science Officer Elamano believes that many elements in the crust of Ushminaria 3 can be transformed into potentially more useful forms through positron bombardment. Alright, everyone, I wish to say good night, farewell, and I will upload this in a few minutes. Thank you for watching, and uh, tomorrow's upload will be Northgard episode 4. Um, I believe it's episode 4. Um, yep, it will be episode four, and later that, this week, Friday, is Warframe. Uh, currently we may have about three hours, three and a half, or Wylands, or Islands, whichever. And Saturday morning, if you wish to put in a suggestion, go to Discord and put it in the suggestion suggested games tab and uh we can most certainly play uh thank you for watching and this is tythos arrows we will be having announcements tomorrow so be sure to suggest a game leave a like and uh comment feel free to uh this game i am repeating for you is uh well we're done for tonight and I am going to upload this into its own section. So, everyone, good night, farewell, and keep on gaming.